And these are some just some, some measures in terms of results. And for those who are the financial people in the room who are quickly deducting how long how keeping claims open for 60 days cost you and your business uh, versus 10 days. So we take a look at a standard now, the industry standard now. And that's, that's not made up. 60 days to make claims decision is not made up. Run a catastrophe and tell me how long it took you to run your uh, had claims decisions. Brokers out there or insurers out there, how long did it make, take to make claims decisions? Because across the industry over the last 12 months, whether you're a banking institution or you're a small progressive insurer, and we collected a lot of data on this, up to 60 days. Potentially a smart triage process and claims decision is starting to make having a significant impact where claims decisions can be made within a week to 10 days. But do we stop there? Because that's cool and it's great to do that and it's 10 days is better than 60 and you're going to have delighted customers. But then let's talk about what's next. You know, we, I'm, I'm, I don't get stuck in the past. I try not to. It's not profitable. Um, the innovation now and about the what's next. And the what's next talks about just in the, again, just re-engineering the first 72 hours. The what's next talks about what if we could, what if I could see what you could see the minute your property was damaged. And for the investigators and fraud people in the room, there's other ramifications for being able to see immediately um, contents damage, contents validation, property damage before the policyholder gets down to the pub and realises that he's got 10 laptops. Um, and you've got the ability to be able to connect immediately to emergency services in the property space. But the same, same for those who are in motor, same applicability. 